up everyone what's good what's poppin welcome welcome back to my channel it's your girl caroline and welcome to my fun really exciting start to finish a wig install tutorial wow. today we've got something new i love this just love doing new wigs today we're doing something new new color alert voila this is the wig that we're going to be working with they're going to be installing today we're working with this wig this wig is from ash mary ashy mary ash mary hair company's color apparently they have they told me it was a milk tea color and i was like what does that mean but basically it's just i feel like a fancy marketing term for a ash blonde ash blonde balayage look this anyway so let's get into our install okay starting off with the hair prep you know what i mean i'm not a bald cap person i don't believe in bald caps or wig caps but what i do believe in is having super flat braids because I feel like that's how you get a flat wig is having like a flat foundation. So I just want to make sure my braids are nice and flat. I got these professionally done recently. Like I went to like a I live in Houston. I went to like a local braider. I had to wash my hair myself though. But I went to a braider, paid $50, and she braided me down really nicely because I just want like really nice long lasting. Because the smaller the braids are, the longer they last. And now when I take off my wig, like I don't look crazy. And they're nice and small and flat. I like to put some edge booster gel onto my edges. And I just feel like it's important to put this on your edges put this on when you have a colored wig especially this blonde wig because the little dark hair is be poking through sometimes if the lace is short and i can tell you all the laces it's the medium cap size and this is like a little bit short on my forehead it's not like small on my head it's just like short for my hairline a little bit and then for the last bit of hair prep i like to just make sure i wipe off the perimeter of my forehead because i realize pop like my lotion face cream on my skincare products but just whatever's on my face really does affect how well the um, glue spray that I use works. A good wig starts with a good foundation. Okay, cool. Now I had it nice and prepped. As far as preparation for the wig, since it's a reinstall I did this yesterday, I already went ahead and tinted the lace using my Maybelline Fit Me foundation, the shade 356, just to get it to match my skin tone my skin tone exactly. Especially with this being transparent lace. Transparent lace has more like a wider cast to it. And I feel like it's better for like lighter, very fair tones. So I do have to make sure I'm like, you know, tinting it so it can match me exactly. Let's plop her on. And for my sides, for like green balls, I just like to lift underneath and I try to do spray like all along, also a little bit back here in my hair. Cause there's like, you know, you see other lace back here. Just try to spray every lace I'm gonna touch as much as possible. Low dryer and like a nice little like flat something something pointy and like this that you can use rattle comb whatever something you can use to help press down the edges of the lace and to make sure everything is like properly melted and stick it in. I feel like I just sprayed too much into the hair. I'm aware it's loving the TikToks and looking at my phone too because I've tried my best to spray it not too much in the hair but mainly in the lace. Okay, it's sticking pretty well. I feel like it just looks a little bit wonky. Cause mind you, some of these hairs are supposed to be blonde, but it's, I, it's just like staying a bit from the lace tint. That's my thing about playing with blonde, like especially platinum blonde hair. It gets so dirty so easily. I am a strong advocate for glueless installs. Like I feel like I understand what people want glue because glue does last longer and you, you can like sweat more with it and I definitely get that which is why I feel like glue is great for those reasons but I feel like if you're going to use glue I really suggest you get a professional to do it like because y'all are if you didn't know I'm like I'm not a professional I'm just a girl in her bathroom who likes to do her hair who self who you know self-taught herself and all my years of self-taught teaching myself I've tried to play with glue but um, glue does not want to play with me I've lost my edges, it's so sticky. I've lost my mind trying to work with glue because like with glue, you know, once you, like you can't move the wig or like, you, I feel like your mistakes are more permanent or harder to fix with glue. With God's glue, like stuff like this, with these glue sprays, like, like how like the wig didn't work out yesterday, I can just take off the wig and try again. With glue, it's a hell of a buckle. Even just washing off the lace is annoying. So I guess you gotta pick your poison, but that's why I said if you're gonna use glue, get a professional to do it. Go pay for that install. At least it'll probably even last longer and it'll be less stressful.
probably not gonna do baby hairs on this, but I will like do a clean, like I'll like swoop the edges to make it look clean a bit. But I don't think I wanna do like actual baby hairs. What I will do though is just like use some mousse to kind of just help swoop the hairline along. To get like a soft look, like, like an edge look, but not like a baby hair look. Just put some on there to help soften up those hairs a bit. Do a little swoopy swoop on everything. Just like give it like an edge look. Different band, put the elastic band on to kind of just help hold the lace down a bit while we do our styling. Go ahead and press our part out. And press out my part, I like to use a combination of the Care Care wax stick. It's just a wax stick to help like one is gonna add some shine, also help push down the hair in the little flyaways, and then of course the hot comb. I'm going to use this sparingly because it can make your hair greasy. I don't use it as much as I used to in the past. I used to really hand this stuff. And then of course you go with your hot comb. Ooh, and press it. And I say press. Ooh, it's about using this thick back part as you comb down with it. To like press into the hair. Ooh. This is what we get. Get your wig nice and flat and smooth. For our hair, I'm going to be using my Hot Tools Professional Curling Iron. I believe it's like the one in a one and two fourths, one third. Just one of those, I'll link it down below. And I have it set to 380. I don't want it to be too hot because I don't want to melt the hair because since it's blonde, it's a lot more fragile. So I got it on 380. And then to work as a heat protectant and also a shine serum, I'm using a little bit of this bio silk. I got the mini one because it's cheaper. I will say though, so far, I feel like the hair is trying. Like it's pretty good from what I've seen. You know, I can never really give a good review when it comes up when I just put the wig on because for you to really tell the hair is good. You gotta wear it for a minute. She gotta go through the ringer, but so far I feel like it feels like pretty good quality. It did come with these curls that you see on the bottom, these little waves. It did come with these like pre-curled curls added in them. Because I haven't washed the wig so it didn't wash out. And I did like a little curl. And the curls are like really nice and bouncy. It's usually, and the hair doesn't feel dry because typically I expect blonde, pre-dyed blonde hair to be like super dry, especially when it's this platinum. It doesn't feel dry. And the shedding isn't too bad. I do get a couple strands. But I feel like that's kind of really to be expected for pre-colored hair like this. Quick little curling tutorial. So I want my curls to go backwards. So I have my clamp open to the left. Hair out. Shoot, I need a tutorial too. Because the clamp one is one that gets me every time. And this way, yeah. Hair out. I like to clip it under for the left side. A nice rotate it. You gotta like, you can't go too fast. I like that the hair get a little warm. That's how the curls form without the hair getting hot with the curling iron. That's why it's important to get curling iron not too hard because if you're going too slow, you don't want your curl. I would just like tap the hair to make sure it's getting warm. I'm gonna keep opening and closing so I've got all the hair. And like, it feels like the hair is being wrapped backwards around the curling iron. And then, Drop her into my hands. I think I'm gonna pin curl. So, yeah, I'm a pin curl. Okay, clamp downwards. Boom. Twist. And then. Take your time to just wrap, get all the hair wrapped around and heat it. Okay. Not too slow. Like I like kind of give like each piece like what three seconds of fame before I twist and turn it. Oops, it's a cut. 
I feel like this is the back row. Okay, it's not that bad actually. Okay, makeup done. Oh, let's take out these pins. This is always like the nerve wracking part to me. I'm just gonna take this off too. Let's see what we're working with. Ooh, I have a headache. The band's on tight. So these clips are like also put in all. I put these clips in a bit rough. Shite. If anything, I'm really impressed with how this hair is holding a curl. Because I have had like a hair similar to this done to me. And the hair was so hard to work with. Like it was so frizzy. It didn't want to hold a curl. It was shedding, like melting in my hands. And it felt like plastic. And this does not feel like that. What company was that? I think it was like a stereo. It was a stereo hair company. And they had something similar to this. And even the coloring, it was way more greener and patchier than this. Ooh. Bouncy, bouncy curls. I feel like I did it through this side. Oh, let's see, yeah, this side is not as spectacular as this side. There's. And I'm gonna use my fingers, the other side. Yeah, this side did not curl as well as the other side. I'm obsessed with this color though. Like, this color looks so much better now that it's like styled. I mean, having my makeup done, having a pretty face too, <laughs> doesn't help. It also kind of helps make any color look better. Man, I gotta recurl this side. This side is weak. I hate when that happens. This side doesn't like, it like barely even got me heat. Okay, now let's shape her up. I want these pieces going this way. And also like smoothing up the bang situation is like all crooked. Basically just a bit shorter, just a tad. 